I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to take a look at On No Data, which is an event that happens on Access Reports uh, that allows you to give a message or stop the execution of a, of a report uh, that would come up blank um, so that you can have a more elegant solution for the times when there's actually nothing to report based on you know, some user selections or criteria or something like that. So without further ado, let's get to On No Data in Microsoft Access. Looking for more resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so kind of a neat topic today. This is a problem that many people run into and uh, there is a very simple solution for it. Uh, with one gotcha uh, that you need to watch out for when you do do this one. Uh, but you can see here this uh, file that we've used many times. Uh, I've got the work hours table and it has all of these records in it. Uh, each record is an, you know, an hourly reporting uh, record. And uh, you can see it's got a few fields here. Um, if I collapse this on the side you can see it's just a simple table. And what we did in a previous episode um, was we took this table with all of these records. There's uh, just uh, about four, 440 records in there about. And uh, what we did was we created uh, a filter form that launches a report. And so we're gonna use this filter form uh, this sort of very basic form that we created um, that filters the data based off of the month and uh, the year and the month. And so uh, the report, you make your selections and then you click on the report button and here, here we go. We have a report called work hours month report and uh, it's just simply the records filtered uh, by uh, by the month start and month end. And so this is sort of a very basic, um, very basic report. And we, we did a, uh, the previous video just to show how to do the month beginning and month end filtering. Uh, but you can see here, you know, there's four pages for the selections that I made uh, between uh, 2019-01 and 2019-03. And you know you can change your selections, and you can see it actually also filters the form uh, below, or the form that we're using. So uh, the number of records changes there as well. So so what this does is is it opens this nice little report here, and this might be similar to what you're doing in your work. And uh, what what you want to try and figure out is. Uh, what happens if I choose something that's outside of those ranges? Or maybe I choose within those ranges, but there's no records coming back. You know, how would I figure that out? So uh, what I would do is, you know, try to screw up my report. Um, I actually put the dates in backwards here, uh, but it looks like that actually still works in, in this case because the the dates are still between there. There are still records between those dates. Uh, but what if I chose some dates that were not in the drop down? You know, um, if I chose something in 2018, well, there you go. Uh, you can see the form itself, um, you know, based off the programming we did last time, it, it has no records in it. And if I click on open the report, you can see we get this blank report here. Um, and the blank report, you know, it says page one of one, and maybe somebody even sent this to the printer, uh, you know, wasting paper and stuff like that. And so we want to be able to catch that situation where uh, the report is blank. There's no data, right? Um, and we can do that by looking at the report properties that you can see on the right-hand side. And you can see in there uh, there is an on no data uh, event and you can click on the, the ellipsis there, the three dots, and then go to code builder and then go OK. And that's going to bring up this code window for you. And you can write a little bit of VBA in here. 
uh, it's created this subroutine here and it's called report underscore no data and it has an argument called cancel and uh, cancel is something that we can set during the execution of this uh, uh, of this subroutine so that's very very handy um, so well the first thing we might do when there's no data uh, for the report uh, maybe we want to you know create a message box to tell the users hey in th there's no data uh, you know this reports going to be blank um, you know and that's not great so uh, we could say you know your selections return no data um, or something like that <clears throat> and we could say uh, you know we put that as a VB information uh, so it just has a little information icon on it you could put maybe an exclamation that might be a bit bit strong uh, but uh, and then no data for the uh, for the title and then that cancel in integer there what we're going to do is we're going to say um, cancel equals minus one and so that's going to set the cancellation of the report uh, so the report does not open um, and so those are two actions that you could do return a message box to the user and cancel the report there is a gotcha though um, which we'll explore here uh, because it depends on how you opened that report and so uh, what I'm going to do is we'll run a scenario that does have data so there's data from uh, 2019-01 to 2019-03 and so you can see that returned 108 records there um, and so if we hit the the uh, report here this comes up as we expect it you can see there there are uh, records available for that period if we close that print preview and we go back and we um, and we uh, set it to a period that has no records then uh, you can see that the, the the form cleared out and then you can see now it does give this uh, error message here uh, but we've got one gotcha here which is that the way that we called it is going to give us an, an error so we've got to go back and find that and as you can see we have this uh, uh, runtime error 2501 and we have a end and debug uh, selection there and we can uh, click on debug and it'll show you uh, where this came from and, and the error that we're getting is, is when we open the report from the form we've told the report not to open when we used on no data but that passes back an error to uh, our open report command here um, and we can click on on the uh, stop icon in the toolbar to stop our uh, our execution and we're just going to put in a little error handler here and we're just going to say on error resume next this is the simplest way of handling it you can also do error trapping and put a you know a, a separate section below to handle just that 2501 error and look at my other video on error handling uh, if you want to see some of that but uh, that's what we'll do for now so now uh, we've stopped our report from opening and we're going to tell we've told our, our other procedure to just ignore that error so when we click open the report it gives us this nice little no data uh, pop up here and then when we click OK nothing else happens it just stops and so that's what we really want uh, if we do have some data in there then everything executes properly you can see this one has 44 records uh, in January of 2019 and we can open the report normally uh, which is exactly what we want to see and if we close uh, that report and say we do another criteria and we you know choose something that's outside of uh, any known ranges that are that's actually in the data uh, maybe anything in 2018 because the table only has 2019 data you can see now we can click the report and you can see that the uh, selections return no data for this report and uh, that's exactly what we want to see and that's how you can use on no data in Microsoft Access. 
want additional training materials and content, make sure to check out my Patreon. Make your boss pay for it. It's training. <laughs>